Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can scale parts in your Roblox game. Now to do that, we're going to insert a part. We have a block here. We're going to insert, let's move it. Let's insert, not another block, but let's insert a wedge and let's insert a sphere. And here we have these three elements. So how do you scale them? Well, on your home tab, under the same tools option or part of the tab, you have select, move, scale and rotate. The one you're looking for is scale. Once you have it selected, you can click on object and you'll get the three axes that you can now scale. We can change this one, we can change this one and we can change this one. The exact same process is applied to the wedge. So we have this, we have this, and we have the blue one, which is this one. They're all changing in scale. However, when we select the sphere, we again have all three axes. But if we try to resize them, we'll simply resize on all three axes. So it doesn't matter which one we select, it's simply moving in that side but the resize is taking place in a linear fashion throughout the whole sphere. How to edit that or how to change that? Well, all you need to do is right click on the object and deselect union. Once you do that, again, you select it, the same principle of scaling will be applied on each axis individually. So you can create shapes like this lens like object so there it is a really simple process more let's say unique when it comes to spheres but otherwise you're simply using the scale tool under your home tab under your tools to scale your parts there it is simple easy straightforward hopefully you found this tutorial useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please consider supporting me through arrangement of means you can check out my patreon page you can check out my channel memberships you can check out my books on amazon the links to all of those are in the description below but the easiest fastest simplest way to support me just subscribe to my channel and be right here for my new tutorials that's all for me thanks for being here have a great day have loads of fun in your Roblox Studio Adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye.